So, probably a note to myself, which I decided to share with the rest of you, because Houdini has many um, weirdnesses when you try to create simple things like paths or, uh, or presets in our case. So, in this first annoying Houdini series, let's say, I'm gonna show you how to create a preset of uh, some nodes. Let's say you have uh, this setup, um, and you want to save it as a one button preset instead of going creating something, adding normals, adding instancer, randomizing color, scale, etc. You want to have this as, as a small preset, right? Um, so, um, my way of doing it, there are many ways of doing things. I can check the, here this uh, uh, tool palette, right? And it has galleries and tools. I don't know what galleries are. I know that I can go here to tools and in this cog wheel select a uh, new tool category. So let's create a new tool category. Let's call this Thanos uh, Mograph. Okay, let's press OK. And there it is, the Thanos Mograph category. And all we need to do is take those things and drag and drop them there and give them some name. Let's say Thanos. Grid cloner, uh, paste it here as well, both in name and label, and press accept. Right? So, right now, with this way, I have this uh, thing which I can double click from here, or if you remember the name, you can tab. It also exists, uh, sorry, let me tab here. It also, also exists here in the tab menu, and you can just uh, thun, sorry. I'm off screen, Thanos, Cloner, Grid, and press enter, and there we go. We have our preset. Great. Um, so, where are those presets saved? If, if once once you create it, uh, you cannot define. Uh, I, you cannot define. I think the save path from the get go, or you can. I, I'm not sure, but in any ways, you can edit here. You can go to edit after the fact and change the name. Um, uh, change the icon, change the path. So let's do that. Let's create a path here that it's everything in Houdini is in documents, Houdini version, and then in subfolders. So in the subfolder toolbar, let's create this tutorial self tools, let's say. Tutorial tools, apply, accept. And now if I go to this folder, uh, documents Houdini 19 in the toolbar. It has some selves here. This is the tutorial tool self I just created. So you can take this file and back it up and have it um, as uh, when you format to quickly get your uh, things in things, uh, your presets here as well. Um, another thing we can do with this is uh, we can change icons. This is a niche uh, <laughs> detail, but in case you want to do that, um, all, all you need to do uh, is, let's say you like this alembic icon, right? If I press edit here and it gives me this icon path, so let's copy something and go to this thing and edit and paste it here and you immediately see it changes the icon. If I press accept, now this has this icon. But what if I wanted to have my own icon? Um, you need to create an SVG file SVG is a vector file. You can take your logo, let's say, from Illustrator, make it 48 by 48 pixels, export it as SVG file, and then you need to go and place it uh, in Houdini, config icons, right? So I place this icon here called MP Black. And as long as I remember the name, if I press edit and write MP Black and press accept, Boom, it immediately changes the icon it reads on from this folder. So, um, yeah, this is how I create uh, presets. Um, some tips here. Try to use uh, a syntax of, uh, don't use underscores or dashes or uh, dots. Houdini some areas likes dots, in other areas likes underscores, uh, doesn't like spaces in some areas, in others it does. It's a little bit confusing because it has vex, hscript, script, uh, things with different syntax. Anyways, keep this if you want with lower uh, and capital 
cases uh, mixed and match uh, like this if you if you want to maintain compatibility and avoid errors i think this is the best way of writing things in houdini and avoiding errors in general um so again um let's say you created this gallery and you want to now delete it and uh, how you delete it you right click and there is no way uh, as uh, delete right uh, and this is very annoying but the workaround for that is you go to this self tool uh, to this to those selves actually create a new self uh, accept and drag not the category you drag the, to the tool and there it is so um, from here you can probably right click and delete the tool not remove from self but delete are you sure and delete uh, self as well so now we are left with this empty category and this won't go away easy uh, I thought that this doesn't go away easy but all you need to do is uh, restart Houdini and whatever empty category is here it will be deleted um, probably you wonder why I didn't just from the get-go uh, create a new self and drag the icon here and don't do all this uh, well you can definitely do that, but uh, I, I read that um, when Houdini boots, uh, it, it loads everything from the self. So if you have many presets on the self, it delays to boot. So yeah, probably this is, this is a better way of creating your custom uh, things. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to be back with another annoying Houdini series. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. Cheers.